Coach Schmidt was here for 40 years, which is unheard of in today's day and age. So by the time Lincoln's here for 40 years, he'll be almost 100 years old. So we're yeah. yeah. just kidding, but we're, we're very appreciative that you come out. We're very appreciative of uh, the fact that you're taking away from your busy time to, to be here and help cover us. We had a, a large group of people, as you can imagine, that applied for this position. Excited about it. We're very fortunate uh, that Mick Darner was uh, interested in the position. He won a national championship. He can tell you about those kinds of things as well. Uh, at one of the schools down the road, I don't like to say their name, but he's in our league. And we had the opportunity to watch him uh, as a coach. Uh, he's played at Purdue, he was a very good player. Purdue played the Big Ten. Uh, and had several coaching stops and got all that experience. Uh, he was at St. Joseph's College in Indiana. But that experience in Florida Southern, and then left here and went to the University of Wisconsin Green Bay, where also we went to the NCAA tournament. So we're, we're excited to have him here. And rather than me go on and on, we're going to get up here and talk about uh, the goals and the opportunity to have him here as a coach. Thank you, Larry. First, I'd like to thank Larry, President Bond, and the Search Committee for giving me the opportunity to, to lead this basketball program as we move forward. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be back in the Sunshine State. Uh, when I was here eight years ago, I thought it was one of the best Division II leagues in the country with some of the best coaches, and I still feel that way. It'd be good to get some battles going back with Billy Mims and Tom Kluzman and Lance Randall and Butch Edsis, along with some of the new coaches that are in the league. Uh, my family's very excited. Uh, it's a little, they're a little busy right now. My daughter graduates this week from the University Charlotte. Uh, so my wife's getting ready to get up there and help her out with her graduation. I gotta head up there in the next couple days. Uh, my son's been busy traveling around AAU. Uh, all over the all over the south here, it seems like every weekend he's going somewhere. So it's been a very busy time, but we're excited. Excited to be back in the area. Uh, and uh, you know, get my son over here, get some shots and he keeps asking when he can get over to the gym and he can get a workout in. Uh, but the thing, the thing that excited me about this job here was, you know, I was in the league for nine years, and I always thought that the University of Tampa was a great, great job. Uh, competed, won, won national championships. That's what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to compete somewhere where you got a year in and year out, you have a chance to win a national championship, and that's my goal. Yes, we want to compete, we want to win the Sunshine Conference, but also we want to compete at the national level. And with the job open, I called Paul Larry as soon as I heard. My level of message probably got tired of hearing me, you know, trying to get in touch with him and called other people to try to reach out. You know, Pete Meyer, I want to thank him. Uh, he was my idea of Florida Southern. I know he spent a lot of time helping me, talking with Larry about me. Uh, but, you know, the style we're going to play, everybody always asks, what style are you going to play, Coach? We're going to play the same style I've always played. Uh, my teams have been very up tempo, uh, high scoring. There's a misconception out there that we're going to shoot the ball in seven seconds or less. That, that is not true. We're going to get the ball down the floor as fast as we can and get the best shot we possibly can. If that's in two or three seconds of the shot clock, we're going to shoot it. If that's in 25 seconds of the shot clock, that's when we're going to shoot it. We're going to play very fast. It's going to be very entertaining. People will like to come watch it because everybody wants to score. Everybody wants to see points. Um, it's great for recruiting because every kid wants to be told that they're going to get a chance to score. You know, that's always a big question they have. Am I going to get a score? Well, in our system, you're going to get a score. Now, with that being said, though, defensively, and there's a misconception there because we score a lot of points that we don't play defense. We do play defense. Just when you have a lot more possessions in the game, you're going to give up more points than what teams do that play slow. We're going to pick up 94 feet. We're going to look to press uh, the whole game for 40 minutes. Now, we may trap. We may not. But it's going to be a fun way for the guys to play. And one reason I like playing that way is you have to have depth and guys get a chance to play. Um, and so that's how we're going to play. Our guys are going to be role models on and off the court. Uh, I have kind of a couple things that I go by. Number one, they're going to go to class. Number two, they're going to be on time. And number three, they're going to play extremely hard. And if they do those three things, they'll have a great career here. Yeah, so at this time, I'm just excited. I wish I could get to gym with the players, but it's too late now. Summer started, so I, I, I don't want to see anybody work out or play for the next uh, three and a half months. But I'm excited to get to work. I'm excited.
excited with, with Coach Becker to get working on, on getting the guys signed to come here and play for us. We'll be very busy the next couple weeks trying to fill out the roster. And then I'm excited to get the guys here and get ready and compete at the national level, and that's what our goal is. And at this time, I'll take any questions that anybody might have. Coach, this was a very consistent program in conference for a lot of years, and kind of up and down in recent years. Is the infrastructure and everything in place to, to win now here? Oh, I think so. I'm a, I'm a basketball junkie, so um, I first saw Tampa play. Boy, it must have been. I talked to Ray Harper the other day. He couldn't even remember it. Uh, but I was an assistant at Lincoln Memorial, and I saw him play Kentucky Wesleyan in Owensboro. Mm -hmm. and, and I had a lot of guys that played high school basketball went to school at Rollins. So I, I knew the tradition of how good Campbell was, Rollins has been, Florida Southern has been. I always said, boy, you know, it'd be great to get down there and coach in that league one day because it's a, it's a great basketball league. And I was fortunate enough to go to Florida Southern. And then I was fortunate enough, I think, yes, I think everything's in place. You know, uh, they compete at the national level in every sport, so I might not have been
Thank you guys for coming.